just me and the gum. gum. <laughs> perfect, perfect. Hi guys. Hi guys. Welcome to today's video. Me and Brielle. Brielle did my makeup today, obviously. This is the finished look. But we wanted to show you guys how to do like the perfected base using non-pore clogging. Non-pore clogging? Yeah, non-pore clogging um, powders, creams, liquids, all the things. Mm -hmm. Because I have been on this skincare journey. And I don't want to use anything that's like extremely pore clogging or really has any pore, pore clogging ingredients. But I also wanted to, wanted her to have wanted her to show you guys how to do like the absolute perfect base for longevity for layering things like give all her professional makeup artists tips and tricks like all the things in the book to show with you guys so we actually did that today we successfully filmed it we actually talked about all the things and we show you like in depth i say wait i just sat here but she shows you like all the in-depth things of how she does it what she does on my face to make it look snatched how she layers it and we have like all the products that we talk about those we talk about the skin prep all the things so if without further ado mm -hmm. let's get into get the video, video. <laughs> this, yeah this okay okay do you like this angle because we're we're going we're going yes um okay so tape. let me get sorry <laughs> i don't have any of these really yeah ma'am why don't you have a youtube channel I'm scared of that. I look because good. <laughs> <laughs> They're I'm embarrassed cute. to be alive. <laughs> the only girls like have their hair down and then you do it like this with my hair and I'm like <laughs> just for the little first. Okay. It's just for the plot only. Um Snatch me up. We're gonna start cleaning. And I think probably what I will do is only speak when I have something, have to, something say. to say. Because otherwise that's my problem. I'll just keep on talking and everything will blur into all of the conversations will turn into one five-hour conversation. Does that, that make sense? That did happen to us. That's what happened. We're like, oh, let's talk about contouring. And then literally four hours and 58 minutes later, we're like, Kiki, we're done. Yes. <laughs> Not we speaking. just sit in someone's <laughs> office. <laughs> there will be no words. You've come to my house, don't speak to me. Okay. So, so as far as prep goes, we just went in. You can use whatever skincare works for you. I feel like since we're focusing on... Um, a base that is good for acne prone skin you want to use the skincare that works for you because this is all about like not triggering your acne so use Perfect. what doesn't trigger your acne this is what we use for Katie um, the first thing was the face reality hydro balance hydrating gel and then CeraVe do you know it's a uh, Cera CeraVe CeraVe no it isn't yes CeraVe, CeraVe? Mm -hmm. really yes I'm scared of that. Sarabi, uh, the nighttime facial moisturizing lotion. And then this is just a deep potted um, belief eye balm. Super hydrating for the under eyes. So this is what we use for skin prep. Um, I usually do brows at this point. Do you want to go ahead and do your brows? I can. Let's do that. Okay. Okay. So like we said, we already did the base prep. And then I went ahead and did my eyebrows. Because um, I've been doing my eyebrows for a while now. It's like TV actually the way I did my eyebrows. But honestly, they turned out like crap anyway. So. <laughs> but we're going into the base now and like we said in the beginning of the video we're only using or we're only using products that are non-pore clogging and i'll leave the uh either link to the app or the name of the app down below for you all because i talked about this in a previous video it should be up by now but if it's not um i went to an esthetician and like she gave me the app and like all kinds of things that were probably breaking my skin out and one of the kosas concealer was one of them which was disheartening i almost died whenever i found all that information but anyways um so we're trying to use products that are only like good clean products that aren't going to break me the heck out so that's that now we're into the base into the base okay so the routine that i like to do i will typically start with eyes um and then work on the skin but since we're doing this like completely focused on the base we're going to go ahead and jump right into um like the base of the eyes and then start the base of the skin Perfect. So, um, I'm going to cut Katie's brows with her Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer. Which I do a deep love. Also for the base today, I guess we should have said this in the beginning, but we can say this in the intro. We're going for like a very glass skin, like natural, mm -hmm. stunning look. Because we had a photo very shoot. glowy. It got cancelled. So now we're actually going out on the town. Mm -hmm. And we got to be looking like cute. So this is going to be makeup that looks good. It'll look nice on camera, but it is meant to look good in person. Like Which this is love. supposed to be like you look at Katie in real life and you're like, wow, cute. you are a flawless perfect angel. Shop out with crown. Okay. So go ahead and close.
So, so far we've prepped Katie's skin with the skincare and she filled in her brows and I um, carved them, shaped them. Yeah, I carved them out with her Iliad True Serum Skin Concealer. Yes, her Skin Serum Concealer. And um, a little bit of NARS Radiant Creamy because both of those are non-pore clogging. Um, so now we're gonna jump into the skin. And again, this is very glassy. Um, very like good looking in-person skin. So we're gonna use the Hollywood Flawless Filter to just add a little bit of radiance to um, the high points of her face. And we're very happy that this is non-pore clogging because what this is, is this? the most beautiful product. Five? What do you I think use? I have that one. I think I have five tan, mm. and then I have the really dark one. But I use it as like as a That's bronzer. That's what I saw, it's really yeah. dark one. We're also filming this in natural lighting. Like we're sitting right in front of a window, mm -hmm. which I always say, if you're doing your makeup at your house, the only thing that sucks is a lot of times I feel like people are getting ready like in their bathroom or something like that with artificial lighting. But if you're going into an artificial lighting building or something like that anyways, who cares? Mm -hmm. um, but if you can do your makeup in natural lighting. Yes, 100% if you're gonna be outside at all, you need to at least look at yourself in natural lighting before you leave the house Yeah, because it can look so different from like working in a ring light or yeah, just like crazy. bathroom lighting or something. Like if whenever so I film videos and I use my artificial light, um, it's and I look at myself in natural light, I'm like, mm, you're gonna you're gonna get washed off right now. Yeah, it is. It is a little bit crazy. I had to do my makeup in um, the early morning, like the other morning on Saturday. I had that pop up, and I had to get up at the crack of dawn and do my makeup. And I hate doing my makeup on my fresh face. You know what I mean? Fresh facial skincare. I heard that you're supposed to wait no, like, uh, like a, 15 to 20 minutes before you put any makeup on after you do your skincare. No, like the like my face just woken up. Oh, just woken like up. Like she's face. so puffy. She's not snatched in the latest. In the latest. In, in the, the slightest. Latest. In the slightest or the least. In the slightest. Do you, um. Have you ever used the Skinny Confidential Ice Roller? No, but I want it. But Face Reality I has it. one. I bought it's a face roller nice. off of a. Uh, um, Amazon, but it's not that great. KDH. The skinny confidential one is amazing. Fun. I need it. Don't you? Didn't you have a podcast? Yeah. I have a hard time with podcasts. I do too. My difference means. I'm, I'm doing a podcast, but I'm doing videos with the podcast, so people can listen either like. You're starting a podcast? Yeah. <gasps> I know true story. Maybe that'll be the first podcast. I but I'm having it like as a YouTube video too, so people can watch it. Cause oh, I like I that. like to watch them. I like to see the interactions. Same. I like to see like laugh. So it's basically. It's a video and also a podcast. We'll like strike the audio and put it on like, you know, Spotify and stuff. You and uh, James? Yeah, me and James. Me and James. That's exciting. Is it going to be like, are you going to talk about a specific all industry or just literally everything? Literally all the things. Okay. So I think in particular, when you want makeup that looks good in person and you want it to last for a really long time, um, the two key things you want to focus on are layering and layering, well no, layering in different consistencies. So you want to use creams, powders, and liquids, and then you want to make sure each layer is light. Um, I think a lot of people get confused when they think long wearing makeup they just put a lot of makeup on their face and they expect like because there's more it'll last longer that's kind of the opposite of what actually happens if you put more on your face it ends up looking cakey and it can separate and it's just like clogging your pores I feel like and making everything look super fake so light layers and working in lots of different textures um, and that's what's going to give you super long wearing flawless looking makeup because no one needs a cake face that's a fact how would you do, like, how are you doing my makeup differently right now than how you would do, like, a broad, you know what I mean? Um, honestly not that different because I feel like my style, my preferred style is that everything looks kind of like skin. Like, I don't like super matte makeup. Yeah. Um, I don't like for it to look like makeup, if yeah. that makes sense. I mean, wearing makeup on your face, you can always tell, like, bare skin versus not. Yeah. But I prefer something that leans more glowy, um and like your skin but better kind of stuff. Yeah. So the only thing, I have like certain products that I use for bridal, like there's sweat blockers that I use to prep with. Yeah. Um, and, oh, so this is, I'm mixing oh, yeah. two different, <laughs> <Perfect>. <laughs> I'm mixing two different foundations. This is um, Armani Luminous Silk and uh, L'Oreal Freshwear Infallible. Yes, L'Oreal Infallible Freshwear 24 Hour Foundation. Also, I'm Both extremely which, dark. 
Very dark. Very, very dark. And I feel like you even look lighter on camera. I do. Than you do in person. I'm like, yeah, I'm dark, dark. The video is 19 years long. Okay, so now for Katie's cream bronzer, we're gonna use um, a darker shade of the Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. This is something that I love to do when you want your everything to blend together, you want everything to look super seamless. Using the same consistency for multiple areas of your face is just gonna mesh everything together and make it look very seamless. You're not gonna tell where the lines are um, and make it all look very flawless. So this is Armani Luminous Silk in shade 11. I think this is the same one we used last time, wasn't it? Probably. So, it looks in? pretty warm on camera. But it's subtle. You can kind of see that way. Nice and subtle. Perfect. Hopefully, I'm not saying that middle looks crazy on camera. Does that ever happen? Do you think that something looks good in person and then on not, camera you not, look back and you're like, what was that thing? Not really with this camera because I swear it just makes everything look good. That's good. But on my phone? Yeah. It scares me to death. Oh, she does look snatched. Okay, let's add the light. Fabulous. Okay, what do we do next? Do I need this on? Oh, for the concealer? Yeah. Um, I do have a backup. I'm pretty sure she's expired, to be honest good. with you. Um, but it's fine. It's okay. It's okay. Okay. So now the Ilia, say it, True Skin Serum Concealer. Amazing. An SC1. SC1. I love this concealer. It's very radiant. I've never used this until right now. And... Do you feel like your life's changed? Yeah. Perfect. It's very pretty. Like, yeah. I feel like I don't see concealers often that look, like, pretty on the skin. This one looks yeah. really pretty. I feel like a lot of people love the NARS because it's, like, that was the baseline for concealer. That was, like, the mm -hmm. standard for concealer. But I feel like this one is incredibly slept on. I feel like it just looks really nice. Mm-hmm and performs really well, it never looks cakey. It's just a good concealer. Do you feel like you can build it up to full coverage? Cause I feel like right now it's like- Medium. Medium, yeah. I think no. Medium light. And again, we're working in super light layers. Like obviously Katie doesn't have anything that we need to be covering anyways, but nonetheless, even if she did, if we were like covering breakouts or something like that, I would still encourage you to only go in with a super light layer of foundation. You're only wanting to even out your skin tone with the foundation and then you can go back later and spot conceal and color correct if you need to. But always keeping in mind that you want everything to be very light layers. And plus, I feel like heavy layers, which I'd like to hear your thoughts on this. I feel like if you put super heavy layers of concealer and foundation over your breakouts, it makes them more apparent. 100%. You can see them more. Whenever I struggled with, actually I was in Chicago mm -hmm. and I was struggling with breakouts like really bad. And um, I don't really know what it was from. I think like hormones and just like trying new products and yeah, just traveling in general. And um, I bought the NARS pot concealer and I was like, okay, I always did like a very light base. Mm -hmm. Like usually I, you know, don't wear foundation. And then I would do like my tinted SPF or like a tinted moisturizer or something like that. And then use that pot concealer just in those specific areas. So I got the coverage I wanted without having to put it everywhere. So I felt like you would look at me and be like, oh, she barely has any makeup on. But the spots that I want to cover were covered. Mm -hmm. And I feel like a lot of people with acne or with something they want to cover, dark spots or whatever, just think, okay, let me do full coverage, mm -hmm. and then let me do full coverage concealer, and then they're like, well, why does this look bad? You know? Yeah. The more that you layer, the more it, like, stands out on your yeah. face. Also, people with aging skin, I think same thing. Mm -hmm. If they struggle with, like, fine lines or wrinkles or something like that, same kind of thing. Like, you want glowy. 100%. Yeah. And the more, like, if you struggle with creasing, then you 1,000% want to go in with light layers because creasing happens because there's too much product and it has nowhere to go except for the creases of your face. Yeah. So, rule of thumb, light layers. Yeah. Beautiful. So, um, we just talked about concealer. Okay. So now for cream blush, we're going to use the Rare Beauty. I don't know what these Everybody's are called. Everybody's favorite. Yes. Isn't it soft um, pinch or something? Soft yes, pinch? soft pinch liquid, liquid blush. blush. And we're using two different shades. This is Hope and this is Happy. Two very different vibes. Yes. I want to zoom this in just a little bit. Okay. So people can see the it going on. Yes. Your under eyes look so good. Thank you. So bright. 
So, and again, this is one product that I feel like you 1000% do not want to go heavy with because it spreads so far. That's true. I feel like with if a lot of If you've seen others, it on any TikTok, you like, know. The NARS is like fine. Yeah. You know what I mean? But like Rare Beauty, you know, scared to death. Just build it up slowly. That's what it is. Did you see that thing about the, the NASA man chaining himself to a, the Chase Bank? Um, I saw him getting arrested, but I didn't know why. Yeah, because he was like, nobody is listening to us. We're scientists. We know what the heck we're talking about. It's that movie. What's that movie? With, oh, yes. Uh, with Leonardo DiCaprio yeah. and, and uh, Jennifer Lawrence. I keep working on the side that they can't see. There Gosh, that looks good. There it is. Blush is my lifeline. Yes. It makes the biggest difference. And it's funny to me because I remember growing up, like... You didn't wear blush? Yeah. Same. And people were like, oh, I don't need blush. Yeah, you do. Mm -hmm. Literally, if you don't have anything, you need blush. It can that revive yourself. Time. Yes. And if you're taking photos, uh, yeah. extra blush. If you're getting married, triple. Because that's the first thing to fade. Matter of so, fact, only wear blush. All of blush. <laughs> Put it everywhere. Yeah. I want your face to turn I feel like it is so flattering. It you know? is. And then I always it's giving like Callie put... It really is. It's giving Gigi the deep. <laughs> it's giving Hailey Bieber. Stop. I always uh -huh. like to put a little bit of blush right above the brows. Do you? And a little bit right at the top of the forehead. I always do the forehead, but I never do the brows. And a little bit right on the chin. I love that. Because then, if someone's looking at your face, the color is not just here. It's yeah. in all the places that the sun will hit you. Mm, genius. Okay. To set her under eyes, we're using Charlotte Tilbury Air Bl Air Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. Airbrush Flawless Finish Powder. She is not um, non-comedogenic. No. But, but she is beautiful. She's stunning. And I've never noticed her to break me out. But who knows. We should get... I feel started. like... What was that product that we just looked up? Um, uh, Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter? Yes. So... I think something to note is that sometimes if it's the very last ingredient on the ingredient list, that is the ingredient with the least amount of concentration, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. So if it's something that's like pore clogging, but it's literally like second from the bottom, the bottom, like if it's from the bottom five, you should be okay. Like just obviously test it with your skin because you may have a reaction literally to anything, even if it's not pore clogging. Mm -hmm. um, but nevertheless, there's that. Yeah. If it's like the second ingredient... Yeah, then be I'm sure it's a problem. Like if the talc, talc is always like the first ingredient I think in most powders. Yeah, like the very first thing. So, or shea butter. I'm tired That's of like shea a thick body moisturizer. I'm surprised that that I goes. Know. It's an emulsifier in. though. They use it as an emulsifier. The way that this changed my life. I know. I need to get this. No, you actually cannot breathe without it. So they only sell that color on your Dior though, unfortunately. Not the five and four. Really? No, because I've had a million people message me because I made that TikTok about it. Rachel Kirk Connell commented on that TikTok. Mmm. I said, are we best friends? That's cool. She seems like someone I would like to be friends with. Her skin. Yeah. Illegal. Mm -hmm. Her eyebrows, also illegal. Yeah, she That's looks great. like she has Hailey Bieber skin. Yeah, 100%. Okay, so for bronzer, now we're going to go in and we're going to set everything that we did with cream um, and liquid. So we did her foundation, her concealer, we did cream bronzer, cream blush. Now for all of those products, you want to go in with a powder on top of them. That's for long wear. If you really don't care about like everything being super locked in place, then you don't have to go in with that many layers. But again, all the layers are very thin because we don't want anything to look cakey. We want it to look very nice in person. So very thin layers. And a brush like this is nice too. Because it's very fluffy. Like you can say, see really it moves like a lot. Brush. It doesn't hold a lot of product. Yeah. So it'll set things in place, but it won't pack a lot of product, which is nice. Where's that from? I don't know if it's pronounced Delium or Bedelium. Huh. Probably Delium. I like it. Long and they're fair. not very expensive either, but they do a very good job. It's almost like, like if Morphe was a professional brand yeah for like pro artists you know there's like those yeah. pro brands like rcma and stuff like that like this is meant to be kind of like a face powder not yeah. a bronzer right yes yeah a, the no powder powder which i feel like is how it is mm -hmm. that's how it's back back okay. again okay yeah. Yeah. so we did blush bronzer 
Yep. Okay. <laughs> we set all of our cream products with powders. Again, longevity. Um, we did... We didn't film the blush. We, we set her blush with the Persona Cosmetics Bubble, we which did. is like 10 out of 10. If you need a pink blush, that one is, it is stunning. Um, so for her highlight, we're going to do a little bit of the Say Glowy Super Gel and just pop that on the high points of her face. And then I always like to go over, after everything is said and done, I've done setting spray and everything, I always do one little pop of the Tower 28 uh, Magic Hour Blush because it brings all the life back to your skin. Like if you ever feel like you have too much powder on your face, we this love will her. make you we love glow. Her. So just a little bit. A little bit more pinky. And then I'm gonna zoom in for this part. Okay. So we get the glory. Also, plot twist, you guys thought that you were gonna see the eye portion of this video? Wrong go. Another video. You have to come back. Or else. Or else. Jail. Jail time. Capital punishment. And that just brought I don't know if you can tell on camera, but now everything just looks like not powdery whatsoever. More brought to life. More brought to life. Perf. And that's it. That's it? That's it. For the skin. We're done. Perf. Well, that's it. Everything, this will be the outro. Mm. Everything that she used and that we talked about will be listed down below mm -hmm. for your love and convenience. For your non pore flogging needs. Yeah, literally. Fabulous. Beautiful. We love it. Let's do some eyes. Let's do some eyes. You'll have to come back and watch the second part. Stay tuned. For the eyeballs.